Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're gonna play Planet Crafter. We're actually reaching the end of the game, we think, we're not exactly sure. I myself have never made it to this point. On my solo playthrough, I made it up to the animal stage, and then 1.0 co-op came out, and I started over with her. So, just to give you a quick tour before we actually end things, this is our warehouse. Kinda nice, it's a 3x3 three three room type that you can unlock via the trade ship and then this is the rest of our base on the second floor here we've got like this lab area these are our storage containers here these are the tier 2 storage containers that you can get eventually once you uh, purchase the blueprint from the tech rocket or the trade rocket um, further down we've got the bio lab larva stuffs Biodome for tree trunks, and beyond that, I think, is the aquarium. Yep. Yep. Okay, and then first floor. First floor, where's the ladder? This is our main, like, entryway here, where all of our screens are. This is what we're at right now. And yeah, 5.18 TTI at 5, you unlock the extractor rocket, and that's what we're about to try and build now. Um, looks like we reached the infinity terraforming stage, so we're done with that. Okay. Power-wise, we've been doing... I mean, it's amazing. These... Uh, what are they called? Enhancement machines or something? Optimizer oh, machines. Thank you. Opt yeah, they are amazing. Like... <laughs> <laughs> they they um they multiply the effect of nearby machines so that it just it it just makes it better more efficient and we've been doing that um yeah this is just an empty area here and then what's out nice, mm -hmm. oh sorry what's nice is that they stack on top of each other so yeah yeah they stack <laughs> all right sorry go ahead no you're fine uh drones here and there to deliver supplies to and from various containers. Our little animal insect area out here. We got Which is a mess, but it's okay. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just <laughs> it's totally fine. It <laughs> looks like either Planet Zoo or Zoo Tycoon. It's like you said your favorite one was this pink one here. The one with the crazy patterns, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it's amazing what you can do with this. How are you going to build more animals, or like, did you build as much as you possibly can? I think I built as much as I possibly want <laughs> right for right now. <laughs> to want. I think you have enough. I mean, oh my, you built more. I, the last I saw, you had three of them. Yeah. I didn't know you had built more than this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, just to give you a quick look at the map. Um, again, this, this is really spoiler heavy, so just be warned. I'll, I'll put a tag in the title. But this is this is the map when you zoom out. Um, eventually you'll get technology where you can see where you can drill for specific resources. There are ore extractors. Sulfur on the right is in yellow there, aluminum there. Uh, the red is like iridium, blue is osmium. So yeah, you can you can go around the map and put ore extractors down on these spots and mine out specific resources. I think there's actually a super alloy spot right there to the left, which I don't think we ever capitalized on. So, nope. uh, yeah, so we've been planting trees, um, teleporters. I've been building, she's been doing a lot of the at home stuff and I've been going out, um, sort of just expanding our bases needlessly. I mean, it's a shame because we never really use them, but they look nice. It's just a little bit of clipping. I made, I made a little, uh, a little thing here. If you want to take a look real okay. quick. All right. Wait, where are you at? I'm warping back home. Okay, sorry. Where are you at? I am out front. Right here, behind you. So, I made this. Real quick, because it was one of our latest unlocks. Okay. Uh, I want our house to look just like this. Oh, wow. Oh, so this is the rounded habitat dome or something or other? Just, a, yeah, a living compartment with a dome. Gotcha. Um, oh, I love it. The screen has a ton of little colored hexagons. Those are beacons. That's just to like help you find things that you found before. Um, you can hit, I think it's F2 to turn all that off 
it also turns off your hunger meter. I wish there was a way to turn off just the beacons and not the rest of your interface. That would have been cool. Yeah. But anyway, so should we try this extraction rocket? Yes. What's this large yeah. explosive? Place this under the warden's anomaly and trigger it to be able to quit the planet. What? Um, that's different. Well, let's let's. Well, where, where is the warden's anomaly? I don't know. Do you know where that is? I do not know. Okay. Well, first things first, I'm going to put this thing down because I have the right, resources. Me... Yeah, I'm saving it right now real quick. <laughs> I guess right there. That's fine. Um. So the question is... What is... Oh, there's a container here. Oh, wait, I lost you. There's too many trees. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gives us a location. Um, high oh. interference levels detected. Please destroy interference source to be able to re receive extraction. Oh, I wonder if it's that big giant yellow circle that we came across. Maybe. It, it gives us coordinates. 718-43-2269. Okay. okay. Right. All right. So we are at these coordinates here, the location of the super alloy mine. Yep, there she is. <laughs> this is also where that giant cave door is. Yeah. It's around here somewhere. And then down... I vaguely remember this part. We found this pretty early. Yeah, and then I remember the yellow circle. I I wonder if that's what we have to put that explosion under. Oops. What's that thing? Oh no! Okay, good. I thought I was gonna starve to death. <laughs> okay, I have food on me. This is just the city. Yeah. But I don't remember seeing anything here. That was a huge... Um, was it in a different area then? Um, no, we were... I think we were in it, weren't we? Um, we were all the way up. Um, oh, I oh, to, oh, oh. All the way up. There's a... Over here. Uh, no. There's a... There's a... Here. There it is. Steps. Okay. So we have to platform all the way around this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I fell. <laughs> Dang. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. Make it? Okay. Yeah. So it's this thing, right? I don't know. Yeah, this thing. We don't know what it is. Um... I would save it first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, save. Save. Okay. Um, so we have... I can build the explosive. Mm-hmm. And then we need to run, I guess. Cool. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm running. I'm running out. <laughs> Don't look back! Oh, she fell! Well, I don't know if we're meant to le I don't know what's going on right now. I didn't- oh, I'm not crap. running, I'm watching it. Oh, are you? I fell, and now I'm glitched in the world. <laughs> you fell? I did, I fell. I fell, like, through the mountain. <laughs> I am super glitched. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good now. So you're just watching it? Yeah, I don't know what's go- oh! Huge rocks, okay. Rocks oh, just weird. covered the cavern. Okay, so okay. yeah, I can't go back in there now. Alright, so you made it out. Yeah. Hey. I don't know what happened. Did you fall? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Some... did you break a hit? No. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing we go back to our ship? I guess. To try and just... launch. Kinda odd. Alright, so we're back home. Yep. 
head on over to this thing. Whoa! Leave the planet, place your fate in the hands of Sentinel Corps. It seems like that's that would be the ending for that. I think so. You ready? Uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Oh! Oh my gosh. Leave the planet with Sentinel Court. That's so sad. So does that mean we're going to be a prisoner again and have to do it all over? <laughs> or, or is oh, our sentence... Oh! Look at that huge ship! Yeah. Wow. I have successfully... Oh, good. Okay. So is that it? We will now re-examine your sentence based on the various deviations from the rules that could be attributed to you. I want a score, please. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. We will remain Rude. in detention. Well, there you go. Interesting. Apparently, there were rainbow caves that we did not discover. Oh. That's sad. All right. How'd you th what'd you think? I enjoyed it. It's nice yeah. to see the ending, finally, after three to four years of play Well, maybe two or three years of playing it in early yeah. access. That was fun. I almost want to start a new playthrough. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would play this again. Yeah, same. But you want to play it on a harder level, though, right? Like, you want to... No. Wanna... I don't know. It depends, like, what I'm in the mood. Maybe I'll have, like, two different playthroughs. An easy and a hard level. Uh-huh. Okay, so we did some research, and apparently there's more than just that one ending. Um, we found a bunch of these warden keys, which are scattered around the planet. They're hidden from plain view until you get a specific chip and the chip is the warden key detector that will allow these gold glowy pedestals to just appear in the environment and you have to go find them if you find 10 of them you'll be able to put them into this container and if you do you get a new option here um leave the planet trust that some wardens are still alive and will accept you so i guess we'll check out that ending real quick okay So, same capsule. Oh. <laughs> oh, different. So instead of a ship, it's a portal. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. I like that. And for when I was reading, the other ending requires the 500,000 Terra uh, tokens, which yeah. I, I am not going to grind. To do it's just way too much um but that lady riley i guess um strikes a deal with she she was messaging you throughout this whole game and it looks yeah. like she can arrange to get you off via a smuggler ship for five hundred thousand terra tokens and five solar quartz so if yeah. you like that end of it then might be something to I look might, at i might try it just to try it <laughs> mm -hmm. but five hundred thousand is ridiculous like trying to grind for that much is is i mean yeah the rex if you find a good one it's like you get five thousand here five thousand there but that's just way so that's way too much you'd have to leave your game running in the background and automate the selling of resources that's really the only yeah. thing that you can do so mm -hmm. all right well there you go folks that was the planet crafter um so glad that this game is finally completed at least on my end of it because <laughs> i'm so glad it has co-op too I, I think this game screamed co-op while i was playing it in early access and now that it is co-op i i had a great time with it it was it was much easier to play with another person than it was doing all that by myself and on top of that the, the early access version i had did not have the adjustable difficulties and you know and and if you create a game now you get all these sliders but in my early access game that I've been playing all this time, I had the default difficulty, whatever that was, standard probably. 
so like the game was so much harder than it, solo that way a lot more grindy um yeah definitely. yeah so yeah i i totally recommend this game absolutely totally 100 percent. if you're gonna play it solo fine if you're gonna play it co-op fine and you can even leave the game running in the background while you do other things and just increase your terraforming skill or your terraforming points passively like an idle game kind of sort of um, if mm -hmm. you don't feel like like putting things down all over the planet, you know, you, you can take it a lot slower and still let time pass and, and do its thing and you'll still win, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, Planet Crafter, this is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time. Bye, guys.